All right, so the second part of uh, developing your blog is creating a blog post design. So uh, this is for each individual blog post in your on your website. Um, I'll show you an example. This is a really nice blog des post design uh, for Engineers Without Borders. They have uh, social sharing, so you can share the you can share the, the, the post on social media. And they have information about when it was published, who the author is. It talks about, has some tags in there and categories, uh, has a title, the category. Um, you scroll down, you can check out more of their blog posts. And they even have like um, a newsletter sign up right here. So it has a lot of great features of a blog post. and. So uh, that's, these are some things that I want online as well. So to next, for the first step to creating a blog post is we're going to create a template for each, for every blog post so that we don't have to develop, design it from scratch every time. To do that, we're going to go to templates, theme builder, single, and you go um, add new. Blog post example. And it's going to be single. It's a single post. And it's for posts. So make sure you follow this uh, format here. Create template. And from here, we'll be given option for picking uh, a template design and under blocks and single post. So just scroll through here, look for something that will fit, uh, fit, fit what you're looking for. Um, if it doesn't have something that, you're, that you need, you could always add things to it. Um, if it's missing a comment box, you can add that yourself. If it's missing social sharing, you can always add that later. So just scroll through here and choose a, a template. And for me, I chose which one was it? I chose, yeah, this one. Yeah, so it has social sharing, has the title, uh, information on the author. You can like the post, more posts, and a comment. So it has like a, pretty much everything I'm looking for, and I like the design. So I'll show you what that looks like for mine. So here it is when I inserted it into the, when I chose the template. The only thing is I moved some things around, so I moved the title down. It didn't have a newsletter subscribe, so I added this section in. It's really easy to add it. You just go to, you just add the form in and then uh, style it. Yeah, you just style it. The social media sharing, I added Pinterest and I got rid of Google. So if you go to content here, you can delete and add different social media. And then I styled it to make it circular. This section's interesting. It lists when a lot of information, like when the, the post was created, uh, it gives you category, the category of the blog post, the author, so there's different options you can add uh, information for the post. If you want to add a category like I did here, you go to ter terms and you select categories. Okay, and then I changed up the divider. Wanted to look more like uh, my style. So I've changed, I changed it to the zigzag uh, pattern but it has different options. But uh, yeah, you can check that out. It's the divider. And then from here, I noticed this section on other posts didn't have a read more. So I added a read more right here. And this is under content. And the feature image automatically appears on the page. So right here under um, style, 
it'll say feature image. You can also move it around and you know, repeat. You can uh, change the size of it. But I'm going to keep it uh, cover. The last thing I did was um, I added a leave a comment section. Uh, they already had it in there, but I just put like a background design there. One thing with this section is it's called the edit, it's called the post comments widget. Right here. And the thing with this is um, it's, you'll notice like this purple and blue doesn't match up here. Well, for some reason this widget isn't controlled by Elementor, it's controlled by your theme. So if I try to change the colors, So as I was saying, this uh, this specific widget is controlled by your theme customizer, and to get there, you go to customize. So for you, it'd be Ocean WP. For me, it's Astra, and you can change the. Uh, this purple is not what I want, so I've gone ahead and changed the colors here. as well as uh, typography. So that's it for the, the post design. I'm pretty happy with this, has everything I need. Uh, now for your assignment, you will do the same. You'll create your own post with uh, things that you want included on it. And uh, yeah, if you get stuck, just check out those 10 websites that you started with and you can get some ideas on how they lay out their, their blog post.